Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video, I am talking about some of the calculating part of an orthogonal cutting operations. So let's see the data in orthogonal cutting if the feed is 1.25 mm per devolution and chip thickness after the cutting is 2 mm. Determine the following things. First one is the chip thickness ratio. Second one is a shear angle. The further data, the tool bit has a rack angle of 10 degree. If shear strength of that particular materials, and that will be equal to 600 Newton per mm square. Width of the cut, 10 mm. Cutting speed, 30 meter per minute. Coefficient of friction, 0.9. So determine the various terminology like shear force, friction angle, cutting force and last one as a horse power at a cutting tool. So generally this kind of problems it will be asked for the 7 marks of questions with the different universities of a manufacturing process in case of metal cutting operations and production technology. So let us see a given data over here. So starting with the feed. So F is equal to 1.25 mm per revolutions. Cheap thickness after the cutting. So that will be the cutted cheap thickness. So indicating as a TC. So 2 mm. Then the tool bit has a rack angle of 10 degree. So that will be nothing but a rack angle alpha. So alpha is equal to 10 degree. Then after the cutting speed, so that will be indicating as a V meter per minute. So that will be converting into meter per second. Coefficient of frictions, the value of mu. So that will be equal to 0.9 over here. And the CS strand tau, that should be equal to 600 Newton per mm square. And the width of the cut, so that will be indicating as a B. So 10 mm so starting with the first one as a cutting ratio so here it will be the chip thickness ratio you can say rc is equal to uncut chip divided by cutted chip so in case of the orthogonal cutting operations that feed is given like 1.25 mm per revolution so that will be considering as an uncut chip thickness so before starting of an experiment that will be given onto the machine so that will be considering as an uncut chip thickness so that will be indicating as a t so value of the t that will be equal to 1.25 divided by tc so cut it cheap and it will be given over here tc it will be the 2 mm so finally you will get chip thickness ratio or you can say cutting ratio rc is equal to 0.625 then a shear angle second one so we know that the tan phi that should be equal to rc cos alpha divided by 1 minus rc sin alpha so just put the value of rc that will be the chip thickness ratio from here and the value of alpha it will be from here so just put the value and calculate. So finally we will get phi or you can say shear angle phi and it will be indicating as a 34.62 degree. So now here sin phi that will be equal to B into T. So that will be uncut cheap divided by AS. So that will be our shear area of a shear. So AS that will be equal to 10 that will be the width. T means uncut so 1.25 and just put the value of sine 5 so sine 34.62. So you will get the shear area and that will be equal to 22 mm square. Here it will be the friction angle, we all know that the friction angle phi that will be equal to 10 inverse of mu. So here 10 inverse of mu, just put the value of mu and that will be equal to 0.9. So you will get the friction angle phi 42 degree. 
so after that just you can see over here the value of mu so equation ft plus fc tan alpha divided by fc minus ft tan alpha so just put the value of mu over here and ft fc and just put the value of alpha over here so these equations it will be now converting in form of ft and fc so if you have simplified that so you will get the finally result in terms of ft and fc having a some relations like ft that should be equal to 0.6246 into fc so that will be a important relationship so just you can see over here fs is equal to tau into as so as means from here 22 mm square into the shear strength of that particular material so 600 so that shear force that should be equal to 13200 newtons so from here fs that should be equal to fc cos theta minus ft sin theta from this relations just put the value of fs over here then thus put the value of this ft in this so finally this equations it will be now converting into fc so you will easily find out the value of cutting force and that will be 28199 newtons so just put the value over here and you will also get the cutting thrust force but my major requirement is a finding of a power so cutting force into velocity divided by 1000 so just put the value of fc over here velocity we have 0.5 then divided by 1000 so you will get the power required to run this kind of operations so 14.1 kilowatt so that will be the final answer of the data so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much